Hello world. Uh, this is my fully reprogrammable nine digit input lock. It has nine digit keypad and a nine digit long code. The code is one nine two eight three seven four six five. Uh, it is as order sensitive and secure as I believe you can do. I don't know how m much better it can get. But so this is a lock. You, re you reprogram it back there, and uh, this is where you um, input the code to try and open up whatever it is that you want to have this hooked up to. Currently I have it hooked up to a door, and so, you know, you enter the code, walk through, whatever, whatever you have it to be. So I have... Um, so it's nine digits long, is why it's big this way. Uh, obviously you can have it shorter or expand it and make it bigger. You just repeat the process of uh, building it. Now, uh, how the reprogramming works is, uh, so, well, when you want to um, program it, you flip the lever away from this, this here sign uh, so that you turn it on which will allow you to program it. So right now the code is 192837465 and so uh, let's make the code 1231231231 so what we would do is we would go to 1 at 1 and since it's going to be 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 so you choose the number that you want and then for each section of the uh, code that you want it to be in, you press there to choose what part of the code it goes to. So then 2, so it's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, uh, 3 on the last one. And so then you hit 3, so then that's 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Not sure if I had that one fully because it clicked fast. So then you uh, make sure that you flip this lever back before you leave, or else the code will be undone while entering it. So uh, yeah, just so once you have that, then the code is no longer what it used to be which I will enter in right now just to show that it is not the same code. Does not work because that's the old code. The new code is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, it's fully reprogrammable. If you, for uh, example, miss any of them, it will reset immediately. So, for example, I will hit 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And then I will make a hole here because I am lazy to go around. And so, uh, as you can see, this one is off here. And it's the third last one. I oh, I even forgot uh, what I typed in. I think I typed in one two three twice. So then the next one would be one. But if I, for example, hit three or something, then it should reset. So they're all reset. So for example, if I hit one and then two, so then the second last one should be off. And then if I hit 2 again, it will reset it and that uh, will turn back on because it has everything has been reset. And so it's very secure in where you can only get the code right by putting it in exactly how it is supposed to be and not doing anything else is the best way I know how to put it to words. So, yeah. It's pretty fast in entering. Just wait for the buttons to pop out, and it works. So yeah. Uh, let's see what else is there. 
So, yeah, I was requested to do this by a person on a server I was on. I forget his name. It was a while ago. So, uh, the way that this works is that there's the 3x3 three three of, um, well, yeah, that's the keypad there, and then this is just uh, split into, um, be separated, and then they go down their lines. So, you know, like, for example, I know that the middle one's 5, and this one is 3, this is 2, and this is 1. They're all just split up, not in order, like, to be 1, 2, 3, 4. That would probably take more room, but... So, uh, then you basically program the code uh, by flipping the lever. So, when you edit it, well, first off, the uh, code editing works by bud switches. So, now, this is in the mode where it's ready to be edited. So, if I want to make, let's say, the first part of the code be 5, so then you will see that the f uh, middle one is on and that goes all the way through and then the buttons what they do is they activate the sides here where all these wires are and they uh... The, all of these are the same so it will activate this piston and this redstone the piston will push all of the blocks that are there that way which will update all of these pistons to and whichever uh... line is on the piston below it will uh extend and all others will retract and so yeah and then this line when the button turns off it, this is a falling edge monostable and it will then power this piston to shove the blocks back and then you unflip the lever and do whatever other numbers that you want uh, so yeah that's the way it works uh, yeah so just for an example, I will change the first part of the code uh, to 5. Currently it is at 1, so you will see that 1 is right here. And you will see that when I, uh, right now I currently only have the 5 lever on and nothing else. So when I hit uh, the first one to update it, you will see that 1 got attracted and 5 got extended because that is the only one powered on and so it works by bud switch and the reason why you need that to be on uh, well off right now which will have these torches be on which has all of these be on the reason being is when you enter in the code it turns off the torch underneath the block which then updates the piston and it would retract if it is not receiving power bud switch like through a bud switch because uh, then it would notice that it's off but keeping them all on will just keep them all extended and they will not retract and so yeah if I missed anything leave it in the comments if I was unclear about something uh, the levers choose the numbers and uh, yeah the buttons choose the order and what like what part so first number second number whatnot so in the old code the seventh number it was four so you would hit uh... let's see you would hit four and then you'd hit seven for the seventh place of the code and that's how it goes but uh... yeah so that's how it works um, also i missed this part uh... so whenever you press any of the buttons uh... it will light up this line and since the door is open right now, that is on uh, this repeater, which holds off this torch. So if I hit that, which it'll reset, then allows this torch to be on and nothing's powering it. So whenever you hit a button, it will power this torch, which will turn it off, which will allow these on. And that allow and that resets all of these R snore latches. R snore latches from there, right, right there, pretty much. It's, uh, well, yeah. It's like an RS Norlatch, so yeah. And uh, the way that it works is that uh, so the first number is back here, second, third, fourth, so on. And so when you hit the first button, it will uh, turn off this line. The first part of the code, it will turn off this line, which will then activate this uh, T flip flop since this is off. And the um, this turns on, 
and then this gets activated so that this uh, will stop resetting the bud switch not the bud switch uh, this will stop resetting the RSNR latch when uh, when uh, this will stop resetting the RSNR latch and then this will stop being powered from this torch after which will allow this to uh, be in this state here uh, which will then uh, turn off this torch which will then allow the next one to go because as you can see once further on those torches are on which then pow so then if you were to power this torch to turn it off which would turn off this line uh, this would keep it held off so that it would not proceed and so you have to do it perfectly in order and so if you do anything that is not the one that is next as I said it will always reset on every button press so then it would reset it since you aren't proceeding to the next code so that's how it works I uh, probably gave a shitty explanation uh, the door is just uh, my 4x4 and uh, then this is just uh, you know wiring to uh, another RSNR latch over here to uh, the RSNR latch is right here uh, but yeah and so that powers the door and the RSNR latch to reset the lock so uh, if you want me to make a tutorial on it on uh, how to build it block by block leave a comment uh, and um, yeah so this is my nine digit fully reprogrammable combination lock it is nine digits long and uses a nine digit keypad thanks for watching and have a nice day one more thing I uh, forgot to mention please leave suggestions of uh, what to do I am great with redstone this is only a tiny bit of my world literally barely any of it anyways I'm really great with redstone so give me a challenge something that is possible <laughs> uh, I prefer not to spend my time on giant 6x6 doors and stuff just like uh, I don't really do much of um, like practical things but if you give me a suggestion I'll try and make it work I'll try and do something but yeah I do a lot of the technical stuff like over there is like a multiplier but yeah anyways uh, so yeah leave uh, suggestions of what to do the next video on uh, as I said uh, I was recommended to make a tutorial about this of to explain how it works so thumbs up I guess if uh, I did a good job and I would say thumbs down if I didn't but I wouldn't like that anyways <laughs> that wouldn't be nice so yeah um leave a comment tell me how i did and leave suggestions thanks bye